Today we're going to look at how to make gold and sparkly text. This was a question that came from Liz Fielding um, in the Canva Tips for Authors Facebook group. Um, Liz's question was quite specific, but this is a more general description on how to make sparkly or gold sparkly text in Canva. So let's start. So create a design and let's go for book cover. This is Canva's template. I usually use slightly different dimensions to this. So what do I use? 1600 by 2560. That's what I normally use for a ebook cover. This is Canva Tips for Authors, where we talk about how to use Canva for book marketing. If you are an author and would like to talk to other authors about using Canva, come and join the free Facebook group. The link is in the description. It's a good way to find out new tips and tricks and get feedback on your design. And if you'd like some free Canva templates, uh, sign up to my newsletter. The link is also in the description. Okay. All right. We are here. So we have our book cover. Let's make this bigger so it fits the screen. And seeing as we're going to be playing with gold text, we need a dark background. So let's go for, what should we go for? Purple. Purple is a good color. Now we're going to be playing with colors a lot. So if you have a color, you can click on it and you can change it. If it's inside Canva, you can change it. So let's go for purple and make it much darker purple. There we go. You can, if you want it to be fancy, have a gradient. So a really dark gradient. And then we get rid of this one. And make it like this. So gradients are quite nice for giving texture to things. Okay, so there's your purplish background. Now, there are several ways that you can make gold text. The easiest way is a newish app. Let's go to apps. And we want a text maker. Text maker. So TextMaker is, like I say, relatively new. And they have all of these preset texts that you can use. So you've got Metal, which is kind of cool. It reminds me of, do you remember word art back in the day? That's what it reminds me of a little bit. But, um, but we are actually looking for gold, and gold is one of the things that they have lots of. So you've got all these different types of golden text. That is nice. A lot of them are quite nice, actually. All right, let's go for this one. Because that's got a bit of shine and a bit of depth. Let's go for that one. Okay, so you can, it's got a bit of shadow and it's got 3D, which is nice. But there are other effects that you can use. So those are your presets which we're not going to use because we're already, we've already chosen one and we're going to change the word to shine because that's what we're going to do. You can change the font. I'm not going to because that's quite a cool font, really. Oh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, that's cool too. Let's go for that one. Um, you can change the alignment if you have more than one. You can change the spacing between the letters. Sometimes it's nice if you've got really chunky letters to space them out a bit. Actually, let's space this one out a bit, see what it looks like. Oh, okay. There, that makes the letters nice and easy to think. And then you add to design. Now, you there are other premium effects and stuff, but you need to pay for those. But with just with Canva, you've got this. So that's one way to do it. It's probably the easiest way to do it. And then if you wanted it to look even more sparkly, I would go to Elements and look for Shine or Sparkle. Or did I look for sparkle? And you've got all of these sparkle elements. I mean, you could you could add a bit of 
sparkly bits to the background if you wanted. Or what I like using is either that element or there's a, uh, there we go, that sparkle element there. Uh, to make it really small. And then you look at where the light is. So there's a bit there that's already shiny. There's a bit there, there's a bit there, and there's a bit there. So you could make them a little bit extra shiny if you wanted. Let's move you. Come on. Increase eyes and move. Where are you going to go? Ah, uh, where's another sparkly bit? There's a bit there. Actually, I quite like it on the first letter if I can possibly get it. That one can be bigger now, can't it? And we can twizzle it around. Yay! There. That's where my rotate button has gone. I always think it looks a little bit better when it's not dead on. And let's duplicate that and move it so that you've got something over here as well. There you go. Now it looks nice and shiny. Quick and easy, shiny text. Okay. But what if you want texture? So for that, we can use a different app called Font Frame. Right. That's Font Frame. For this one, I also need an element. I need a, the texture in here. So what we're going to do is I looked for sparkle and I found this. We did very, very sparkly gold texture. I just need it to be in here so that I can use it later. Right. Let's go find Font Frame. This is a good way to put a picture behind your text. So let's use selected image. Now you can make the image bigger or smaller by using the image scaler here. So that makes you closer to the image. That doesn't look as great, I don't think, as the tiny, tiny sparkles. Yay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to keep the word shine. We can. I think somewhere change the font. Yes, we can. There we go. So I've got Roboto condensed at the moment, but there's quite a lot of different fonts. Uh, oh, Poppins. Poppins is a nice font. I like that. It's a bit versatile. Okay. Um, and then there's an outline. So let me increase the thickness of the outline. See, there's an outline. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. Um, I'm going to make it quite thin. I do recommend having some sort of an outline because otherwise it's quite hard. There's no demarcation between the texture and the outside. So yeah, four or five ish. And I played with this and I found that the lighter outline worked a little bit better. So what I did was I used a, a goldish color and I did that. So right line spacing I've messed about with, but there you go. Add to design. So that is the word shine in sparkles with actual texture. And again, if you wanted, you could get your little shiny sparkle element and find something that's already sparkling and make it even sparklier. Always good to change the size of things so that it's not obviously the same sparkle element, if that makes sense. There. So yeah, another way to make shiny sparkly text. And a third way is to use gradients. This is more for a gleam rather than a sparkle. So we're going to use another app called Text Gradient. But before we do that, we need some colors that we can use. We're going to make a little rectangle and look for photo colors. OK, so which gold do we like? That's a good color.
and that's that's the hex code for it so we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it just so that we have it and we're going to do the same again for some of the other colors in the photo the darker color. all right so we've got your three colors there okay so we are going to go and find let's just look for gradient is this type gradient text gradient something like that type gradient there we go type gradient okay i like type gradient because it seems to be there's no extra bits to buy which is you know not often the case right so let's go for a different font that's quite a nice font let's go for that one and now we want to change the colors so as before you can change the the line height so the, the space between the the words if you had two let's uh, there we go you could change the line height and space them further apart Let's, let's just stick with the one word. So we've got the word shine. You can turn the uh, change the alignment, change the font. And now we're going to change the gradient colors. So let's click on them. And so the darkest one, I think, was that one. Let's control C and control V. Oh, where did you go? There. V. There we go. And that's the next one. Copy. And paste. Ooh, that's darker, isn't it? All right. And let's make a new one and paste the lightest one. I'll paste that one again to here. Okay. Now let's see, what does that look like? That doesn't look too bad, actually. Let's move the, this dark one down to here. And this one, let's just, I think we'll add another. And we'll make it even lighter. Okay. Right, let's go and look and see what this looks like. Okay, so it already does look a little bit shiny. So you can make it darker. You can make it lighter. You can just move it around until you've got a gradient that you're happy with. So that was that extra light line that we put in that's making the big shiny thing. And that can make your text gleam. You know what? I don't like that thing at the bottom. Let's get rid of that one. See what that looks like. So you can change the angle as well. That sometimes makes a nice effect. There, quite like that. And if you want it to be even shinier where it is, you can just uh, make another dot. And handy tip if you ever need it. All Fs is white. It's pure white. That makes it super, super, super shiny. You probably don't want it that shiny. But anyway. So yeah, so there's that. And then you can add that to design. Let's move these guys out of the way. No, not all of you. These guys. Mm. 
Okay. So that's three different ways to make shiny gold text. Little random bonus since you guys stayed till the end. I'm going to show you one of my favorite things is um, swords. So, because who doesn't like a sword, right? This is, I think, the one that I normally use. Okay. So you got your sword, right? And then you look for gleam. Or flare. Oh, you look for flare. And you've got this and you rotate it so that it fits along the length of your sword 90 degrees not quite why are we not at 90 degrees we're at 90 minus 90 degrees okay you rotate it so that it fits along the length of your sword and it just makes the sword look so much swordier anyway that's just a random tip i'll see you in the next video